Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yeah! Martial arts legend. Nice kick, huh? Action hero. His movies have grossed over $700 million in a career spanning over 25 years. But now, it's time to discover the real man behind the macho image. I've got nothing to hide anymore. As he allows cameras total access into his extraordinary world. <laughs> this is an intimate portrait you, of an international movie star as you have never seen him before. I don't see Sly or Steven Seagal doing that. We're up close and personal as he bears his soul. The world is going bad, you know, let's face it, everything is dying around us. I believe the end soon. And gives us an unprecedented look into the mind of a movie legend. And I pray to save the world. See? God love. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Coming up. Ha, 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 she's a Welcome to the weird and wonderful world of Jean Claude Van Damme. Look at this guy away, cut me. You see that? Did you see that? Huh? I'm gonna kill him. It's not normal that stuff I'm doing. It's like at the age of 15. I love you no! There's frustration on the set of his latest movie. When I came to America and I saw all those babes, it was like a new thing for me. And regrets about the temptations of Hollywood. A complete clown. And, and I came back and she reopened the door for me. But thank God I'm back with you, love me, babe. Paris, France. Jean-Claude's in town to film his latest movie. He's leaving behind his high-kicking fight scenes and turning his hand to comedy. God. This is Jean-Claude. Can I give you a hug then, please? Oh, I'm so happy. He's shooting a cameo role in a French film. It's Jean Claude, man! Alongside actor Steve Tran. And the nation's best love stand up comic, Buddha. You know, man, I'm fucking happy today because Jean Claude is here with us. Okay. And we're gonna shoot a fucking movie, it's gonna be great. Okay. Yeah. Um, as Jean-Claude sits down for makeup, the crew are getting ready for the first scene. His busy schedule has left him no time to learn his lines, so he's relying on every actor's best friend, the cue card. You should hide this. Jean-Claude, you have to for the maquille. Oh, what? I have to read. What? I have to read. What? No, no, I have to read on the panel. Come on. I'm ready to read my text. I'm trying to do like Jean-Claude, but I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. Hello. It's not possible, Jean-Claude, this is... <laughs> What is that? I love you, no! So... <laughs> Makeup done. It's time for Jean-Claude to get into character. In the film, he plays a fearsome colonel. Same here. It's a pleasure to work with me. I yes. told him, same here. He's a very big uh, comedian in France. Yes. Very friendly guy. Very smart. In this scene, the colonel is on a drill 40 meters up in a training tower. Shot! His new recruits are rehearsing their first parachute jump, and the colonel shows them no mercy. Let's 
guys that have to jump. And they are like blue, you know? So uh, very scared first time. So come on. Yeah. What are you waiting for? An invitation? Shit like that. Yeah, Buddha and his fellow cops are here to interrogate the colonel, but they're worried they may be next in line for the push. With the first scene in the can, it's time for a break. Having Jean-Claude is unexpected for us, because he's so famous here. The audience for this film is going to be so surprised by, by his participation in this film. Come on, Van Damme, come on! And it seems Buddha can't hide his delight at working with a Hollywood legend. For my for my generation, this is really? Bruce Lee for my generation. Yes, sir. In the final scene, the colonel discloses some vital information to Buddha and his fellow cops. But there's a problem. The cue cards are placed too far back for Jean-Claude to read. The crew soon find a solution, and Jean-Claude's co-stars are only too happy to lend a helping hand. Il a finalement été relaxé par le tribunal militaire. L'enquête a conclu. It's a French dialogue, and it's a lot. So that deal was done two or three days ago, and it's very hard to memorize dialogue when you go into a movie for a couple of days only. You're part of it, but you're not part of it. Stop! <laughs> it's a wrap. It was amazing. <laughs> it would be great, I think so. But it, it was like a dream for us. Eh bien, c'est super. Fais un gros bisou. Merci pour tout. Bon pote. Fais attention à toi. Merci pour tout. Merci, merci. Ok. Merci. merci thanks, thanks, okay. thanks, thanks. Thank you. Ok. Ok, pote. See you later. Arsenal, Arsenal. That's it, guys. <sighs> Time to go eat. Jean-Claude and wife Gladys have homes around the world, but their penthouse apartment in Vancouver, Canada is a family favorite. It's 9 p.m. and Jean-Claude's just arrived from the airport. He's been away working and hasn't seen Gladys for almost a month. Yeah. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, my love. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Let me see you. Huh? <laughs> Comedian. Comedian. Mm. So your flight was good? Very good. Okay, it was good. Yeah, nice well, seat. I took two clamazepin. Two? Yeah, Why and then I slept. Uh -huh. You don't need two. I have a week, that's what you want to say. Uh, you're not eating this. Ella. Let's leave that as No, well. you see what I cooked and you're going to start eating this crap. Oh, yeah. Is this clean? This is clean. This is going to be hung. Because uh, that's good for hanging. Be uh, careful. Baby, I'm happy to be with you now. Oh, I'm happy too. Oh. <laughs> hey, don't put anything on the floor, huh, with all your hair. Ruby cleaned. What? I said, Ruby cleaned. Don't shave off the floor. Go over the sink. I'm going to kill him. Uh -uh. I don't understand you. you. I give you one housekeeper and you, you give them coffee. 
And then And what? then they sit down and you clean for them. No, I do not. Yes, you do. Who says that? You can see it. No. No, baby, that's on the floor. No, it doesn't go on the floor. Oh, yes, I see it. It's like snow. What do you mean snow? No, because I put talc. Oh, okay, you scared me. Okay. But people, they shave dry. Not awful. So one day I put talc on my face, right? It's all white. And, and the guy, they, they, they thought I was doing like half a kilo of coke. They said, you okay? I said, yeah, it's only talc. It's not talc. funny, it's but... Huh? It's not funny, but it's what? My wife... What about her? She's got the best clothes in the world, and she, she never dress. She's got her man's bag, her man's shoes. She's got jewelry, and she never put anything because. I do when I go And then when she, when I, she has a nice ring, and when I go somewhere, she turn her ring like this, and she's hiding it, not because she's cheap. Like it's too good for her. I don't deserve it. She's got that type of mentality. That's how good she is, oh. and she deserves full rings all over the place. Yeah, that, that's okay. Yeah, but I mean, you should start to use all your stuff. Wait, I gotta show them that. Can I show you the armoire in your house? Now it's clean and fixed. Where's all your nice back and everything? Everything's in order. Nice Organized. All my all shoes. All those shoes and everything. My bags are here. Look at all those nice jackets. And look at all those boots. Look at those boots, 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 boots. And oh, that's okay. That's nothing yet. I take care of my stuff. I've got my nice. But she never put them on, so it will never, will never. She's my just nice uh, like me. Be jewel bag. Over the years, Gladys has amassed a shoe collection to die for. It's insane. <laughs> Not forgetting countless designer handbags. I've had this 25 years. 25 years. And it's a makeup bag that I fell in love with. And I haven't even used it yet. <laughs> I'm looking for the dialogue of uh, Kung Fu Panda. Tomorrow, Jean-Claude's recording his part in the animated movie Kung Fu Panda 2. He's a crocodile. He's so funny. Very funny. I can see him speaking. What time have got to wake up tomorrow? 6 a.m.? No. What time? We leaving? Tomorrow is at 1 p.m. there, but we have a pick up at 12.15. Okay. Okay. So, Master Croc, shall I unleash my fury upon him? What's with my voice? Shall, shall well, you I, have to, did you see the croc? Shall I unleash my fury upon him? <laughs> Master. Did you see the croc though, the picture of the croc? Yeah, especially from <laughs> you. She'd go by voice, especially from you, you know. Soon, all of China would be begging for mercy. <laughs> That's cool. This <laughs> the one. Croc. With his little feet, and his little feet, and you make oh, his the spinning. Oh, the spinning when I bite, it's gonna be cool. But you know what? It's written the way I talk. I like that. I like that. So Kung Fu Panda is this, and what time do you pick together, me up? 12.15. So what are we gonna do? Downstairs. Coming up. Come on, guys, we need the elevator. It's time for the Kung Fu Panda recording. Excuse me, is the elevator blocked? But from the 41st floor, there's only one way down. Once we are on time, damn it. Jean Claude's in Vancouver to record the voice of Master Croc in Kung Fu Panda 2. But he's running late. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna be like a drill sergeant, huh? Let's go. Because if not, without, you'll be late. But. And one thing you cannot afford anymore plugs for your eyes. Come on. Oh, okay. Come on, B. Move out of the way. It's cold for my body. No, it's not. It's warm enough. I already preheated it. Yeah, sure. Even though he's in a rush, Jean Claude still finds time for a sunbed. Listen, Mr. Primo. I don't need this shit, I hear it. It may only be a voice recording, but he wants to look his best. Alright, just relax, unwind. Meditate, meditate, meditate. Come on, puppets. And all this for Croc Panda. The sunbed is also a chance for Jean-Claude to reach a state of Zen. Under the watchful eye of 18 praying Buddhas.
to go. It's 12. Off. What time are you leaving? 12.15, downstairs. Okay, here's your call. Are they stuck? Yeah. Oh, I feel okay. good. Just get up slowly and Ruby will clean the bed. Don't worry about it. Yes. Go straight to the bathroom. Take a towel and damp yourself off. Yes. That's the best thing to do. Hang on. You feel better? Yes. It relaxes you a bit. Oh, yes. You're welcome. You said long sleeve. Warm. That's long sleeve warm and that's to take with us. Okay. The one that you want is for the wash and it's short sleeve. And that's good too, this yeah, one. Yeah, that's huh? very good. The mouse here. What? The limo. He's confirming. Yeah, we have them. Shoes outside. You okay, baby? Very good. You don't want a heavy jacket? You're okay. We're just in and out of the car, right? It's not cold outside, I don't think. Come on, guys. We need the elevator. Five minutes later, still no lift. Excuse me, is the elevator blocked? Oh, no, it's working on. Jean-Claude's inner zen is wavering. Let's go by staircase. Let's go by staircase. Hey, you're not shit. I'm not part of it. But time's not on your side when you live on the 41st floor. Shit happens. Six to steps. Shut up. 37. 23. We've got 27 more to go. This is shit, man. I've got good news, we're halfway. This is shit, man. Can you believe this? Elevators are not working? Yeah. We were like 10 minutes upstairs. Okay. You love driver? Yes. Oh, sorry. We would have been on time. Let's go. Let's no. Go. With his Zen in tatters, Jean Claude heads off to the studio. Jean Claude's not the only Van Damme making movies. Everything's fine. His son, 23-year-old aspiring actor Chris, is in Romania shooting his final scenes for action movie Weapon. And Sister Bianca's here to lend some support. And action! In this scene, Chris's character, Shell, is choked to death by professional hitman Flint, played by British actor Scott Atkins. Chris appears alongside his dad in several films, but hopes Weapon will help to establish him as an actor in his own right. No, I won't be like my father, and I'll go on my own path the best I can. I won't be doing roundhouses and spinning split kicks, whatever they were. Fantastic stuff, but one is one, it's never two. Brandon Lee was great, but he wasn't Bruce. I think I'll make your eyes really wide. Eyes really wide? Yeah. Okay. Eyes really wide. Like you're losing it. Really dig in your hands. Sure. Sure. Because you know, it'll help. Sure. Because then you can kind of control your movements. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The next move involves a potentially dangerous maneuver, so a stunt double stands in for Chris. With the backflip in the can, Chris can step back in for his dying moments. <laughs> Should let me be. <laughs> It's funny to see my brother die. Actually, it's oh. sad. Yeah. Sad. I don't know what I would she do. She was crying. She was crying. I had this control. See? And Nadia put tears in my eyes. Poor thing. It was so sad. Bravo. Great work, guys. Awesome. Awesome. Next. Awesome. A lot of fun, you know? I have to. I really have to thank my acting coach for putting, giving me the correct construction and teaching me how to dig deeper into myself and explore my uh, sensitivity to be able to approach roles. He said something really good to me. He said, you're being paid to share your emotions with people on the, on the, on the, on the screen. So it's a wonderful statement. In Vancouver, Jean-Claude spent the afternoon recording his part in animation movie Kung Fu Panda 2. It's been a success, and back home, the lift has been fixed. That was funny, Kung Fu Panda. Kung you had fun, you were getting into it at the end of the day. Yeah, and you also, really I thought it's going to be more difficult, and I really enjoy. And I was able to go on different tone voice, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you say? Different tones. Hopefully, they're going to work with me again. It was they cool. Like, they huh? really loved it, I, I felt. I don't know, I think they're going to be happy. They really be. It's going to be funny, the clock. Yeah? I Hope saw the clock, I saw the eyes. <laughs> The world is going bad, you know, let's face it, everything is dying around us. Coming up, tears for the state of the planet. It's not good, man. It's not fucking... It's bad. Bucharest, Romania. Jean-Claude's flown in to film an advert for Gillette's latest internet campaign. He plays himself in a spoof ad, set behind the scenes of a big budget commercial. He's brought along personal makeup artist Gino Zambrioli, who's followed Jean-Claude on movie sets all over the world and shares the problems of life on the road. After so many years of you and I working, Yes, it's all my name. What's our family life? <laughs> we didn't have one. But look, I'm more married sometimes to you than my wife. Hey, we yeah, stay yeah. three months together. You go back home, maybe for two months maximum. You make another movie, another two yeah. months. Where's your wife? Home? Home. Who on the set? Yeah. On home, location. Home, home, home. Yeah, but she's. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. She's home. Uh, yes, That's yeah, yeah, because I know my stay. wife. How are you, my wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not in your bed at night, sleeping yeah, yeah. and making the spoon. Yeah, yeah. No, it's true. Yes. Yeah, Where's the spoon? Where's my spoon tonight? Gillo, make me look young, huh? Yeah. And my hair don't gray. Gillette employs huge stars, such as Thierry Henry and David Beckham, so Jean-Claude needs to look his best. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Fat pig. I've got more hair in my nose than on my head. And you know nothing here?
For Jean-Claude, it's another day, another set, and another script. And once again, his heavy workload has left him no time to prepare. Yeah, I didn't learn my dialogue, man. I'm lazy. You know me. I mean, it's not that. Too busy in Belgium, traveling. With heavy French dialogue in each scene, Jean-Claude's back to his old tricks with the cue cards. And the director comes up with an inventive way to film around them. And action. Bonsoir à tous. J'espère que vous êtes OK. Bonsoir à tous. J'espère que vous êtes bouillants ce soir. Il paraît que vous voulez de l'action de la glisse. J'ai tout ce qu'il vous faut. Bonsoir à tous. J'espère que vous êtes bouillants ce soir. Non. Ouais, c'est pas mal. OK, vas-y, vas-y. Ah bien ça Ouais, c'est... Non, mais enfin, bonsoir ah, à tous. Ouais. Ouais. Ouais, T'es détendu, quoi. Ok, vas-y. Thank you. Bonsoir à tous. J'espère que vous êtes bouillants ce soir. Il paraît que vous voulez de l'action, de la glisse. J'ai tout ce qu'il vous faut. Ok, bah, l'autre était mieux, mais elle est pas mal aussi. Ouais. The director gives the thumbs up, but Jean-Claude's not happy with his delivery. Action. Il paraît que vous voulez de l'action, de la glisse. J'ai tout ce qu'il vous faut. And he's feeling increasingly uneasy in front of the crew. Uh, no start, no start stage. No start stage. Thank you. Uh, uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, thank you. Here we go. With the set cleared, Jean Claude carries on. Uh, vas-y, vas-y. Um, action. Bonsoir à tous. J'espère que vous êtes bouillants ce soir. Il paraît que vous voulez de l'action, de la glisse. J'ai tout ce qu'il vous faut. Perfect. Perfect. We, we have it. Okay. 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 Sometimes I feel shy and and uh, complex in the sense of uh, I have a complex in the sense of okay I've got this camera on me so I feel like sometimes when I talk I feel like mumbling my words. Ah, mamma mia, mamma mia. Some call movie snort that like to, you know, uh, you know, just to be exposed. And, like I was years ago. Today, uh, I like to hide. I, just, uh, but I want to do this TV show to share with the audience something special, something more human. Because without them, without the audience, uh, what I would be today, in a sense. For the next scene, Jean Claude must record a telephone conversation. Hey Jean Claude, ça va? Ouais, ouais, cool. And the crew continue to keep a distance from their leading man. Hey Jean Claude, ça va? Ouais, cool. Uh, J'ai peut-être été un peu dur la dernière fois. Je peux te dire? Donc on en articule, enfin plus articulé. Ouais, bon là on l'a déjà. Hein, ouais, ouais. Vas-y, recommence. Hey Jean Claude, ça va? Ouais, cool. Uh, J'ai peut-être été un peu dur la dernière fois. Je peux te dire? Non, t'inquiète, tu sais, c'est bon, j'ai trouvé ce qu'il me fallait. On, on, on va la jouer, vraie vie, c'est plus du cinéma. Cool. T'es aware. Ça va, ça That's the one. OK. OK, okay c'est bon. 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 Yeah, thank you for my French. <laughs> Get to go back to school. Uh, Suddenly, Jean-Claude spots some crew members with additional cameras, and he's worried footage of his earlier stumbles may be leaked onto the internet. Ouais, j'ai une question. Tu you speak French? Uh, ouais. Est-ce que tu as filmé pour le dialogue? You know, I don't speak because when I go in America, I speak so good, no problem. So when I was trying to speak French, I know it take me few. Yeah, of course you're filming, but, but cut that off. You promise? No, we not. Oh, you can you can show the good one. But uh, please, for the making of everything. Yeah, in fact, uh, anyway, you shut the camera. Um, now we have your face. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. It's hard. No, but sometimes we have shots on the set. No, 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 Next no, time on uh, on uh, YouTube, uh, like it's this one. It's not a case. Yeah. Yeah. The rap, 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 rap. Thank you. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. I really enjoy to work with him. He's a good guy. I mean, uh, and I hope you enjoy to work with me. So, you know, he will tell you maybe. <laughs> no, that, that was a very good day. Two more games. Yeah. He may be finished for the day, but Jean Claude can never make a quick getaway. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. It's my pleasure. Is the corner there? Jean-Claude's on a break from filming, and he's hitting the shops with scriptwriter Sheldon. We're in a typical Romanian shopping mall. This is what shopping malls look like in Romania. And friend Max. For people to know, I hate to shop. I go in, I shop, uh, look the way I'm dressing. I hate to, to dress, I hate to shop. They have unbelievable, beautiful women in Romania. They are so skinny and they have long legs. Wow, that's a nice photo. Beautiful legs, huh? Hold on, huh? Ready? Shoot angle. Yeah. Good. Just one. Nice recovery. This is fun walking around through the mall, you know? Yeah. <laughs> this is a small one right here, but they have baggage. Yeah. Jean-Claude needs a suitcase. But he'd rather be anywhere but in the shopping mall. Look, you got nice big ones here. Yeah. That's how much in uh, Euro? 200 and... Uh... Okay, no, buy, okay, I'll buy this two right Please away. Do. How how long it will take you to do all this? Five minutes. Oh good. So I go very fast. Can you explain how to use this? Sure, one second. Do me a favor, lady, don't explain. Just want to go. Oh okay. Leave the, all the, the papers and everything. You have uh, the warranty. You don't want me to take care of the warranty? No. It won't take long. How long? You have 10 years warranty, okay? Yeah, but how long is it for the papers you should cut and leave inside? Just a second. It doesn't take. I have to put a stamp and the date. I'm he may be an impatient customer, but when it comes to his fans, he's all the time in the world. Yeah, okay, yeah. you have a camera? Come, let's do it. Sheldon? Check, yeah, check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step back. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You have enough light here? Yeah, when I think it's okay. You ready? You're very aware of that lighting, aren't you? Yeah, yeah I'm aware. <laughs> Okay. I'll step back just a little bit, JC. That hat. Yeah. Now you're looking like a movie star. Okay. Uh, here we go. I, I, oh, I took. You know what? I took the picture. Good. And, and I was I was too much in the shadow for, no, 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 for the face. No, no, was no, 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 no. You were actually. Nice. Okay. Nice. Oh, you're good. You were in the light. <laughs> oh, I look big on the screen than in real life. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye, girls. Thank bye, you. Bye. All right. Back at the hotel. It's the cleaners who are next in line for some special treatment. Fine. Fine, thank you. You? Good. Okay, come. <laughs> Without them, I'm nothing. Those people are, are giving me what I have today and the traveling and everything. And, and then, but, uh, very young there. Very young. Hi, are you a dinner session? This is very, very young there. <laughs> Those people, they only see me once in their life. If I refuse an autograph, they're gonna go, what, a, what an asshole, you know, it's a bad, bad person. Okay, okay madam. Da. Da. Da, I mean, yes, here. We're okay. Thank yeah, you one, two, much. three. Bye bye. bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. To the outside world, okay. he's a Hollywood action hero. But behind the hard man image, he's deeply troubled by his fears for the environment. The population is growing. And that's, that's very bad because we are eating, we are eating the planet. We are consuming the planet. We are fucking up the planet. The world is going bad, you know, let's face it, everything is dying around us. All the food are all farm food, uh, the population is growing and growing, the pollution is going up, everything is melting. No, guys, it's, it's, it's a very big thing. I believe the end soon. I don't know. It's fucked up, man. All those animals are dying and... All those trees and forests and the oxygen. It's not good, man. It's not fucking... It's bad. Oh, like I'm like... Maybe I'm tired because of the film, but... I, it's just not good. It's not fucking good. It's just... It's not... It's,
Coming up, some frank advice for son Chris. I came to America and I saw all those babes. It was like a new thing for me. Temptation is one of the toughest things. Having finished filming in Europe, Jean-Claude and Chris are on a flying visit to Belgium. Huh? Uh, well, go here, Chris. Okay, uh, up here. Yes. <laughs> Look at this guy, the way he cut me. You see that? Did you see that? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Whenever Jean Claude is in his hometown, he's drawn back to the church where he prayed as a child. All different it's here priests. he had his epiphany, where he like spoke priests. to God about becoming a movie star and saving the planet. So I was here at night. Yeah. Every time I come here, you hear that ring? Every time I come and I land here, bong, you heard it? And it's not bullshit. It's like I came here six times before I left America. And every time I come, if it's like at night, they, I don't have a, look, what time? I didn't know it was six o'clock, okay? I didn't know what time is it in Belgium. But every time I come, you heard that bong? It's a welcoming. It's like he exists. I didn't come on purpose just to be you. You were my witness. The audience is my witness. So people who don't believe in God, it's okay. But you have to believe in something very powerful. We're here for something. You cannot have such a blue sky and those detailed leaves and, and those trees and bees and ocean and fish and dogs and animals and my son and love. It doesn't exist just like that. It has a power above. So now I'm here again. You heard the bone? Okay, right now. It's not good, come on. Uh -huh. It's not good. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. <laughs> Their stopover in Belgium is a rare chance to spend some time together and enjoy the high life. This evening they've come to one of Brussels' top nightclubs. But it's Sunday, so uh, normally everything is dead on Sunday. So we'll see. Hey Chris, come with me. With Jean-Claude's superstar status comes VIP treatment. And word soon gets out that Belgium's national hero is in the house. As usual, it's Dad who gets all the attention. After 30 years in the spotlight, Jean-Claude knows how to handle the never-ending stream of fans. Time for Jean-Claude to hit the dance floor. Finally, they call it a night. It was fun, you know, spending time with dad and friends. Good friends, good people, not just uh, the bullshit, you know? Belgium is the master from Brussels. Okay guys, bye. It was a good night, it was a great night. Jean-Claude's back in Vancouver. He's taking a break from his demanding schedule to spend some quality time with his wife, Gladys. My fat ass. 
You don't have a fat ass, you have a nice ass. No, your wife has a fat ass. Some guys like big ass. No, shut up. Now look, big ass. You're not fat, you have a nice ass. I wish for every woman to have an ass like you at the age of 50. Three. I wish I Don't say 53 and 49. I am Tulasini. <laughs> Aspiring actor Christopher's also in town with his long term girlfriend, Ilaria. They're planning a future together, but Jean Claude wants to warn them of the pressures on relationships in Hollywood. During his career, he lived the rock and roll lifestyle and understands how easy it is to succumb to temptation. Both Gladys and Jean-Claude are determined son Christopher shouldn't make the same mistakes. I've known Dad for 25 years. Even though sometimes shit happens, Hollywood life, Christopher, as you know, you're leading into that side. And you're going to do very well. Well, my thing is, is this. No, but listen. Do not, please, get caught up with Hollywood life, Christopher. I came from Belgium. I was the age of, what, 20, 19? Something like that, yeah. I didn't date any girls in Belgium. So when I came to America and I saw all those babes, those playmates, <laughs> playboy girl, I saw those, I never touched them and I saw all those toys coming in front of me. <laughs> Actresses, models, it was like a new thing for me. And then I was lost. That's it, it's gone, goodbye, your long hair, fucking suit, uh, long hair in can and all that. Gianni Versace shirt, a clown. A complete clown. Uh, and, and I came back and she reopened the door for me. But thank God I'm back. You love me, babe? You love me? I love you very much. See? One to ten. How family. much? How much? How much? Ten plus. Okay, good. Always have. He has seen the sadness. He has seen the drugs and everything. And he's scared. And he doesn't want to do that. But never say never, That's as right. you say. Temptation is one of the toughest things to, to, to really, really, really understand that you cannot allow in your system. Allow. You cannot allow temptation, whether it was a piece of chocolate or a woman that looks freaking gorgeous and whatever, and you think, wow, just for that one night, you'll never find out. Do not, please, get caught up and get wrapped up with egoism, and don't get caught up with the lifestyle of friends and all, oh, let's go to a party. Don't get caught up with Hollywood life, Christopher, because you'll run in the same line, in the same boat, and it can happen. I'm so scared. Both of you, if you don't be scared. You gotta well, take so everything. I'm just you. telling you the consequences of your job. A 90% chance that you're going to fall down. Guaranteed. You have, no jokes aside. No. no, no, no. No, chill, relax. Don't yes. listen. Don't, don't, don't no, no, no. cry. No, no. All the actors. Come on. And all the I'm not even anybody yet. Yeah, nobody. All the actors. Nobody. All of them fall down. I want to cry a little bit because it's not. No, it's a sensitive issue for you. But that's okay. It's all good. I just cry now, but it's okay. It's it's dangerous. The two of you have to learn from experience here, and all we can give you is really valid advice. It's up to you, and all we can do is cross our fingers. But it's up to you guys to hold your fort. The thing is that right now we're competing in love. It's been an emotional conversation, but Jean-Claude knows how to lift the mood. It's horrible to watch that. Huh? It's horrible. It's just disease. Huh? It's disease. It's like in a ball. I'm up and down, guy. You know, I'm such a weird motherfucker. It's just weird, you know. It's not normal, all that stuff I'm doing. It's like at the age of 50, it's not normal. Uh, da, da. People, they're gonna hit me. I'm like that with my friend. Um, I don't mean it, just like fun stuff. I see everything like a cartoon. Like my son. I saw life like a cartoon when I see people, I compare them to cartoon and characters and this and that. Very strange, very strange. Uh... Jean-Claude Van Damme Behind Closed Doors is available now from all good retailers.
Tetley's sponsors Real Men's TV.